G'day, so just wanted to do a, another um, little bit more in-depth video of the uh, streaming Bluetooth streaming solution that I'm using for the Mark One FG Falcon. Um, so basically, there's a couple of components to it. So there's the application for the phone, um, PodEmu. It's a free app on the Play Store, and then. This is the cable, so it has an iPod 30 pin connector, which is split off to uh, USB female connection, a 3.5mm headphone audio adapter, and this Bluetooth serial device, this one's a HC05. So. Uh, at the moment, uh, for the audio solution, for the sound, I'm using this big chunky audio Bluetooth receiver, mainly just because of the quality of it, like the quality of the sound, and uh, it turns on when when the cable gets connected. I've tried a few other things like battery powered ones, etc. Also tried this little thing here, you can use that as well. It's a Bluetooth uh, receiver with a headphone jack, but uh, that's a piece of shit. Um, so I'll just connect this up. Uh, yep, so, and I'll just chuck that in the car as well. So that just uh, fits into the factory 30 pin adapter. I'll just plug that in. And that'll just, it's a bit of a mess. I've been meaning to tidy up, but it works. Uh, that all just lives in the, um, in the console. Now this, uh, the Pod Emu app can actually work with um, Spotify as well. I don't, I'm not a Spotify user, but apparently it does work with Spotify just as well as um, Google Play Music. Um, so I'll just fire up the app. So that's what it looks like. Um, and I'll turn on the ignition. Might help if I turn on the head unit as well. So it draws the Ford logo. And as you can see there, it, um, so the car thinks it's connected to an iPod. Um, and you can still use the, um, the factory um, phone calls. It's totally separate. So you, ideally, with this connection, my phone is connected to three Bluetooth devices. Um, I'll just show you those. So you've got um, Ford BT, which is just the factory phone calls, the audio unit, which is the BT speaker, and then the HC05, which is the uh, serial connector. So yeah, you can still make phone calls, it all works fine. Um, so yeah, basically, not not all of the options for the iPod control actually work. Um, so, but the main stuff that works is the uh, seek buttons for the audio, for the tracks, uh, so you can change that. That works fine. 
and you can go back sometimes it is a little bit slow registering the button presses Um, none of the other functionality here, like the iPod menu, repeat or random work, but the pause button works. So all the control you have to do for the audio now is basically on the phone, apart from apart from the steering wheel, like the seek buttons. Um, Yeah, so that's about it. Um, the app's free on the Play Store, and it's a really good app. Like the guy that came up with it, it's a genius. It saved saved me, you know, thousands. And it would work with other cars as well. It's not just for um, FG Falcon. Anything that has a 30-pin iPod adapter, it doesn't work with a USB-style iPod adapter. It has to be the 30-pin adapter. Um, it should work, and if it doesn't, if you try it in another car contact the developer and he's more than happy to try and get it working. I used to have a Lancer, a 2010 Lancer, and I wish I knew about this. It would have saved me a thousand bucks of ripping out the head unit, putting in an aftermarket head unit and everything else that was needed for it, just to get Bluetooth streaming. Um, yeah, if you've got any more questions, just um, send me, uh, hit me up on uh, YouTube or Facebook. Thanks.